Hey guys, <laughs> while of this 2023 presidential election is still on, no. <laughs> the way the whole matter they go now, even the judges, it be like say then they in the middle of in the middle of Red Sea. <laughs> they don't know where to go. They are stuck. They are confused. Nigerians are saying, see, we are watching you, all eyes on you. You know what to do. And you know what happened during the presidential election. You understand? You know the rightful uh, winner of that election. Before you, you have the all evidence before you as a judge with everything that has been presented to you. You can tell the winner. So that is why we are all watching you. If you do anyhow, you go collect with the with the so Nigerians, they talk. Now, looking at the president, um, Bola Metinibu side, he is now the Nigerian president. He's in control, you understand? The judiciary is under him. But in a same country, the judiciary is supposed to be independent whatsoever. <laughs> But the way the whole matter they go now, we don't understand because in this country we have seen different cases when we say you they see the case. You see me see you. Eh? You see say the case now see be last last they go come tell you something different. Well, we are hoping that this time around they want to, you know, redeem their image, okay, on this very one. Well, again. Again and again and again. Primates. Ayo de I know and now. I don't know what's in a one column. He na prophet. Uh, he did good in all these uh, political prophecy and all that. And most of the prophecies, when he don't give, they really they come to pass. You understand? He don't tell when he they won the judiciary. He has come again. <laughs> he said, see, I don't preach peace. I don't preach war. I don't talk. I don't tire. When I see this matter when they grant, when I go they careful. You understand? It's not just coming to talk. It's not just coming to talk. We are talking about the lives of Nigerians here. You not go just use your own to spoil millions of Nigerians' lives. So that is why you have to be very careful. Primates, I your daily to tribunal judges. Don't allow yourself to be used though. Yes, <laughs> you go see waiting, you know, go understand. Because even the, the, the hand of God is, is already up to strike. Who's ever that wants to cause more trouble in Nigeria? It's so sad. It's really very sad that we have found ourselves in this. Nigerians are not supposed to be afraid if the judiciary system is independent. But the way the whole thing is going, we don't really understand. Well, let's just hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Started by the gravity of his words. Okay, let me take it again. Don't allow yourself to be used. X. Primates are your delay to tribunal judges. You want the tri tribunal judges and started by the gravity of his ways, primate Elisha Ayodele of the Airy Evangelical Spiritual Church has issued a clearion, clearion call to Nigerians, urging them to remain vigilant against any insidious attempt to sway the judgment of judges overseeing the president's election petition tribunal. In an exclusive statement released through his media aid, Osho, the primates cautioned that yielding to external pressures could plunge the nation into a severe crisis, leaving citizens grappling with the aftermath. Amid whispers of convert forces seeking to manipulate the presidential election petition tribunal proceedings, Primates Ayodele employed the judges to stand, and uh, uh, stand first and resolute in the face of potential influence, emphasized the dire consequences that could befall any judge who 
succumb to being a conduit for injustice, drawing a stark line between the righteous judgment and personal affliction. The primate's words resonated with urgency. Nigeria is in pain, and any judge who supports any can Kangaroo judgment will be in, in a, a permanent pain, anguish, and agony. The spiritual leader's persistent warnings went beyond mere admonishment. They acceded to a plea for divine guidance. Primates, Ayodele stressed the pivotal rule of spiritual fortification calling for the judges to be shaded from all forms of external sway. This conviction was stand first without the shattering embrace of spiritual strength. Even the highest court in the land could uh, flitter. The judges need God's divine intervention to do the right thing. Our judges need to be fortified. They need cleansing and they need the spirit of god at this moment he fervently expressed in an increasingly polarized political climate primates highlighted the monumental significance of the tribunal's judgment casting a discerning eye on the impending verdict the postulated that the tribunal's decision could either prop Nigeria forward, propel Nigerian forward, or propel it into a retrogressive spree. The tribunal will either make Nigeria move forward or bring a setback to Nigeria. The primate conscience, we need a judgment that we rebound Nigeria. Reinforcing the gravity of his stance, the primates underscored that Nigerians were no longer complacent. Backstanders should the verdict very swear from justice. Primates Ayodele wondered a tide of causes would be for the judges, casting shadows not only upon their careers but upon their generations as well. The judges should be sincere in their judgment for their sake and that of their families, he declared, underscoring the weight responsibility resting upon their shoulders. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.